After the viral Alabama boat brawl, we put up a unified front against anti-blackness online. But when the aftermath of rapper Megan Thee Stallion's shooting resurfaced in the news cycle, something shifted. In one summer, the Alabama boat brawl and Tory Lanez's sentencing overlapped to start major conversations within Black communities. And while the brawl generated celebration and clever memes, the latter resurfaced harassment and jokes trivializing a Black woman's pain. But this isn't a new phenomenon. In 1949, activist Claudia Jones described super exploitation. It's the exploitation Black women face under capitalism and misogynoir, especially while underpaid and underappreciated within the workforce and household. Megan Thee Stallion isn't in the working class, but her story highlights a universal issue. Rap disses, podcasts, and merchandise commodified her pain. The Lane cycle coincided with claims of her record label failing to compensate her in an industry that profits from misogynoir. Many positioned outcry to her being shot as gender wars. But Jones debunked this too. Jones opposed that a battle of the sexes gets in the way of our liberation against white supremacists. This framing ignores Black women's oppression outside and within our communities. But true Black liberation prioritizes Black women instead of pushing them to the margins. So when we see misogynoir broadcasted in the media or perpetuated within our communities, let the voice of Jones and countless other Black women thinkers ring on. And let's build a future where intersectionality is only a history of difference and no longer a needed framework for continuing exploitation and disrespect. We all know schools aren't teaching Black history correctly. That's why Push Black is so important. Will you support truthful, accurate, empowering Black history content with a donation? Click the link in our bio to donate now.